All right, welcome back to another episode of the Portal Pod. I am Dragon Hunter, and I'm here with my uh, other host, Portal Master. And today we've got some pretty exciting leaks coming up. Uh, recently, we got some just amazing looks at some of the Star Wars set. Three in particular have Mandalorian figures, and one of those even has a new mold, which is the uh, red-themed one with sort of a Darth Maul, sort of that crown horn thing on the back of his head. So that's pretty lit. Looks amazing. And I think the most exciting news this week is that Janker Dank is returning to the Portal Pod. <laughs> oh, absolutely. The best rating system of all time. Before we start real quick, though... We do have a stop motion contest going, pretty amazing, on our channel, link in description and in the comments. Go check it out, we're having some amazing prizes, so many people have already entered, so why aren't you, honestly? It's like a trend, just jump in, enter, maybe you'll win, super cool. And yeah. Ron, it's not that hard, if, you're, if you are a stop motion creator who follows us, we want to see your stuff. Honestly, if you aren't on the Discord, that's where we see a lot of our fans' creations, and oh, some of that stuff is lit. So go ahead and show us your stuff, get a chance to be promoted. All in one contest. Heck, you get an entire portal pod if you win first place. Exactly. What's not to love? So, starting exactly. up, starting up, we have two a little pieces of news before we go into leaks. Is Lego Masters came out yesterday, or last week. As of posting this pod, the second episode will be out, but as of now, it's not. And if you're not watching this, honestly, the builds this season are insane. Just some of the stuff they built. There was this one that had this giant dragon that moved like it would move up and down and they built this in like 14 hours it was crazy they were like hey you gotta have like a moving part and some people had like moving arms and stuff and like like something spun around and these guys made two dragons that moved like fully moved in three different ways it was oh my god it's amazing what like true lego like builders can do when they've got this stuff because i've seen some truly incredible mocks in the community it's like holy crap oh yeah, someone asked me if I like if I had the chance would I go on it. I'm like, no, man. I would have like like a little minifigure display done. And I'd be like, yeah, this is my build lose. three pieces. <laughs> I would lose so hard. It's like putting someone who doesn't know how to cook on Hell's Kitchen and expecting them to <laughs> do something productive. Oh my gosh. I would see just all the pieces and I think I would just like die of happiness. I'd be like, oh my gosh, look at all these pieces. I'm not going to be know, able to build right? anything, but it looks really cool. Man, this uh, is really cool. I don't know how to make anything structurally sound. Uh, I got to meet Will Arnett. <laughs> yeah, Lego Batman. I got kicked off the show in the most embarrassing way <laughs> possible after my entire build just was breathed on and died. They wrote me out of the show, but I was there. Very cool. <laughs> my build was so bad that they actually reshot the footage with another <laughs> person. But, yeah. Very cool. It is... The builds are just absolutely insane. And of course, Will Arnett, always a great reason to come. But going on, if you don't like that or you want more LEGO content, we got a LEGO Con coming up, which could be very exciting or could just be rehashments of old stuff. It's supposed to be 90 minutes and has some big set announcements. Unfortunately, I guarantee you the sets they are announcing are leaked and we will go over those later in the pod. But um, I think it could be a cool way to kind of do something, maybe. We'll see. Also, the video llama will be the host. So if you oh, like geez. video llama, llama with two <laughs> L's. If you like anything remotely, uh, what's it called? Remotely video, maybe. Also, llama is normally spelled with two L's. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> look it up. All right, I'll look it up. Llama with one L. Llama. Llama is a person. Oh, is a Tibetan Buddhist or a spiritual leader. What is llama with two L's? An animal. Oh, shoot. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Wait, 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 wait. That's getting cut out of the and portal pod. No. <laughs> llama portal with... master thinks llama spelled with one L. Nice. Okay, I'm very much wrong. I will admit it to you, but um, we will cut this out of the pod. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we also got some amazing uh, Monkey Kid official set images, which I think are pretty cool. Moving on from my horrible. Oh, experience. absolutely. We found the, uh, I think one of the most important leaked images, which is the Bone Demon Mech, has even more amazing stuff because almost all of the white pieces on it glow in the dark, and it splits into six different mini-builds, which is amazing. This whole thing is, it's, it's just... going to be hard for me to not get it. I still got to get the bugle, but it's insane. 
how Lego made so much good in one set impresses me, and I think it's only 120, so it's less than the actual, oh. uh, my current favorite Monkey Kid set, which is the Drone Copter. This set is very impressive. It is very impressive. It has the most glowing bricks in any Lego set, so that's another thing if you want to have a collector's item, technically speaking. It would be so cool to get, like, multiple and just have a bunch of glow pieces to do something cool with. I, I don't know why. an entire glowing thing. sea serpent or something like that? That would, that would be amazing. Can you imagine having, like, a whole city that just kind of lights up when you, like, oh, turn off your you light? You turn the lights off and everything's still lit? Oh, my gosh. That would, in fact, be very lit. Super cool ghost Unintended. town you could make. Yo, ghost town to the max. Literally lights up during the night. That would be so cool. Your sea serpent would be cool, too, because, like, it would glow up against the ships at night. Oh, that'd be... Oh, man, we are talking a lot about stuff that we would never be able to ac accomplish, unfortunately. But to any Megamot creators out there, this is your chance to do something lit. Yeah, you can spend, like, a dollar a piece. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The brickling pieces are going to be so expensive for this. Yeah, it'd be like, you can make a minifigure stand for... $20 and it'll glow in the dark. Very cool. That would be cool, actually. You know that minifigure stand piece? To get those in glow. Oh, that, that would, would be actually awesome. be really, like, a good collector thing. That would be so cool. Well, that's it for the news. Moving on to leaks. Actually, before we move on to leaks, the animated brick has created this insanely cool custom art trooper, and I just wanted to highlight it. He posted it in our Discord. Link in the description. You should definitely join. The detail on this thing is just insane, especially the helmet and the torso. It looks amazing. It looks, I it's just, it looks amazing. How people do this is beyond me, but it looks great. Custom minifigures, man, those perplex me to a new level. Oh, I could barely paint a hairpiece when I needed to make a custom Joker. Like, this is just beyond, beyond me. So cool, though. Absolutely. Also, apologies for any sniffling or con weird voice sounds. Allergies decided to hit me very hard this week, so... I am very much congested. <laughs> Dragon sitting in there just with a bunch of uh, pollen all around him. Slowly I dying. know, I'm inside, so I'm very confused at the amount of, like, allergic reaction that I'm having. <laughs> I had an allergic reaction to my allergy medication last week, so I'm totally off of it now. Oof, you, <laughs> you, you became the very thing you swore to destroy. I bought this cheap stuff on accident, and it's like you gotta squirt it like in your nose like ten times. And oh my I, goodness. As I was that doing this, impressive. as I was doing this, the bottle pops and the whole thing goes in. <laughs> I think that's user error. Oh, it like hurts so bad. Me. It hurts so bad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I couldn't breathe for like a week. And it, it looked like I had like an allergic reaction. Like my nose got big. And then it was, it was so bad. And then I ran into a wall like the next day and my nose just broke. It was, it was really bad. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you had an allergic reaction to running into a wall. Oh, Pretty much. That is it a was bit nice. My nose like it became fully solid. It was really impressive. Like it like stopped being cartilage and became pure bone, which I then broke. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh big yikes to portal in the chat apparently from his uh, <laughs> drinking I don't even know entire what to call it. allergy medicine. That's a big mistake. That's what I'm gonna call it. Oh my god. It looked, it looked like I was like, took way too many drugs or something. It was seriously bad. It, it, was, it was so bad. On to leaks, though. <laughs> On to leaks. St <laughs> These stunt sets were leaked, and I think, now that we have high-res images, that's why I bring it up, I think these are amazing. I know we talked about them before, and how great they are, and how the bikes are pulled back and stuff, but looking at the big truck set, I know last week we said the bikes aren't actually all in that set. I think they might be, because I'm looking at these six bikes, and they're different bikes than on the smaller sets, I think. Well, that that's, leads me to believe even more that they're poly bags, if they're you not they're poly in bags. The... Yeah. Oh, they, they have set come... numbers! Hold up, Yes, they right. have set I'm numbers. Dumb. I'm dumb. I, I sent you this before that they had set numbers. Yeah, but we couldn't make it out for sure, so I wasn't sure. The rest oh, of no, I couldn't make it out. It was just in Japanese, so I couldn't tell if they had separate names. That was my main dis like, deciding factor. Do we have an English okay, never mind. now? You're right. No, it's, it's still in Chinese or Japanese. But um, the numbers <laughs> are English numbers? I guess 
That's the number system in China. Uh, I think just I don't think Chinese has a different. Oh no! I could have sworn they did. Have a very embarrassed. System. I feel like they don't. I think this also might not be Chinese. I oh, you're probably right. Uh, it's one of the lots of line languages. I don't know. There's no way that I can put that unoffensively. I guess. I yeah. It's. I don't know. I don't know. I can't it's, read it, so I can't decipher it is the main the main thing. It's not English or sign language, so I'm out. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a sign language uh oh wait, that's just Braille, never mind. No, one of the soccer teams got like Braille uniforms, yep. but it didn't pop out. So like what is the point of that? First of all, people would have to like touch the like, the player's <laughs> chest. And then second of all, it's flat. It doesn't work. Like Braille isn't something you uh, it just <laughs> And some ah. people are like it's gonna raise awareness for blind people. It's like how do you how are you <laughs> how are aware of blind it? people? <laughs> yeah, how are they gonna see it? <laughs> uh. Oh my gosh, blind people exist. What are we gonna do? Like I don't know. Wait, people can't see sometimes. How does that work? I don't know. Maybe it did help, and we're just stupid. But I feel like there's better ways to spend money to help in general. But. I don't know. Other than put, you could send it to like a research program for like a some sort of software that allows them to like echolocate or something. No, putting Braille on soccer players' T-shirts to raise awareness—that is exactly what we need. <laughs> Real quick, back to the stunts because I just realized something. They all have trick shots you can do with the ramps, like going over flames oh, really? and stuff. Yeah. yeah, but the truck one has a hammer. And on the other side is like a thing that you try to aim the bike for, and if the bike hits it, it'll slap a guy in the face. In the face. <laughs> so I think that's a really oh cool shot. That yeah. is pretty cool. Also, originally when these were blurry, I didn't think the trucks would be pullbacks. But from the looks of it now, I mean, it's a good possibility because we're looking at new wheels, and there's a chance that that entire bottom chassis is actually a special piece. So even though we have only two of those... It might be something they use. I'm a bit more convinced that everything in here is a pullback because that would make sense. Other because the the trucks appear to be all like one of oh actually never mind they're brick built. But it's yeah. like the, the tops are brick built. It looks no, great. We'll have to see. They do look yeah. great. Only time will tell. I love the colors in these, and regardless if they're pullback or not, the monster trucks in the truck is just we gotta they're get time amazing. On our leak builds. server if he's the one who's gonna tell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh gosh amazing fun <laughs> these are amazing now, though regardless of this the is pun. the part where portal edits out an awkward silence in between the puns so he adds an extra five seconds of like weird silence so that i sound even dumber <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm gonna add awkward si <laughs> silence because we didn't have enough obviously no no of course not the unfortunate part about wow the unfortunate part about this is prices are still unknown so yet to see if they're going to be inflated because of the pullback feature and that guy has a chicken head. That's awesome. And they brought the paintball helmet back. Not to interrupt you, but they brought the paintball helmet back, which I think is really cool. Yeah, I don't I think it works, this. but it's cool. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you go. <laughs> I, no, no, you're good. You're good. I think one of them even has like a weird GoPro thing, which is a stick with a camera piece shoved onto it. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. I could see these going as like 10 to $15 CMFs to, because they've got the bike. But I don't know. If I think like, fifteen dollars for a bike is a little much. Unless yeah, but I mean, build. we both know Lego, so I wouldn't be surprised. Is the main thing. Yeah, I feel like six or seven would be fair, but they're gonna do an even number that's divisible by five. That's not even, I guess. But that's how the price catalog usually goes: is a divisible by five number. That's how most everything goes, unless you're a psychopath. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, well, I'm gonna ignore oh, the no. fact that all of our merch is purchased. At like an eight or a seven. Oh jeez. <laughs> By the way, check it out. Link in the description. It looks amazing. It's totally lit. But it is weird numbers. But that's that's because I wanted to make it cheap for everyone. They wanted me to push it up to the ten. I was like, nah, we're gonna make it cheaper. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Moving on to some weirdly branded stuff. We have this Lego Master Classic Bricks mix leaked. There is no special box for these. They're just the boxes of you know like classic pieces. But they are now Lego Master, except for them, it doesn't say Lego Master. If you buy them at Walmart, you'll get a free Lego storage bag, which is kind of cool. I think this would have been a great opportunity for a Will Arnett figure to put in the box. But they didn't do that, so. I mean, these are the same as before, I feel like. 
one of them is literally the same box as last year's. So oh, I've never, yeah, I've never gotten these, but I think they're a great way to kind of get more pieces if you're into that sort of thing and you're not near a pick a brick wall. What about you? Uh, I don't know. I've never got one of them either. I mean, like, usually if I need more pieces, like, that's just something I sort of deal with. Like, I use the pieces yeah. that I have, and I just sort of suffer through not having the pieces that I want because, you know, I don't yep. have the money to <laughs> brick like order them. Oh, shoot. We totally forgot the regs. Stuff. Okay, hold up, real quick. Lego Masters. Dank ah, or jank? It's jank. Ooh. It's useful, but it's not something that really sticks out to me. It's sort of blander than my taste. I agree. Totally dank. What about the uh, stunt I said jank. Sets? Or, yeah, that's why. Uh, sorry, I agree with you. Totally jank. I'm mixing them up. Jank is bad. What about the stunt stuff? Oh, this stuff is definitely dank. That's totally agree. Another play feature like that is always awesome. I totally agree, and I think we'll see that in more stuff later. On to an amazing leak. We have the Meek Head, which is super creepy, yet totally accurate. It's a minifigure head, and this thing is going to terrify children, and I love it. <laughs> what is it from? It's from <laughs> Thor Ragnarok. You know the little guy that, um, like, Korg's Oh my like, gosh, you're Oh, right. he's dead! Oh, he's not dead! You know, like, throughout the whole movie, it's, like, all running. It's hilarious. This, this face yes. is just so perfect. It gives me so much joy. Oh, absolutely. I think it this is, is going totally to terrify children, too. Yeah. It is a dank for me. So imagine putting that head on the Big Fig Thanos. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Big Fig Thanos is going to be so cursed. Oh, for sure. Moving on, we also got the new Korg head leaked, because he's not going to be a Big Fig. He, oh, really? I'm actually kind of happy with how they did it. They're, they oh, have yeah, this headpiece, and then they have this like attachment that's a rock, and I think it's pretty cool, because he's right in between, I'd say, big fig and mini fig. Maybe they'll bring back the tall legs, but I doubt it. The tall legs were so cursed. Like <laughs> they really were, but quite cool. They could bring back the axle style stuff. That might work with him. That would be so cool. That would work great for him. If they just made it a little like, less uh, techy and stuff. That would be amazing. But I do think this figure is dank. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I've only seen the head, actually. So I haven't oh, seen the... The attachment? I don't... Yeah, I don't know where the leak is for it. That was like last month. I don't think you're going to find it. Unfortunately. But it's very cool. It's like a little rocky thing. I don't know, that's my only really description for it. <laughs> Moving on, we got new Technic vehicles leaked. We have a truck, a construction truck, a scooper thingy, and a dune bug thingy. I think they're pretty cool. I've never gotten a Technic set. Uh, what about you, Jay? Yeah. Uh, they're yeah. definitely cool. I've always like looked at the Technic sets and been like, those are super lit, and also like $300, so... Exactly. Beyond I... me. I still want to get that Technic poly bag that came out, because I think it'd be a cool little thing to like have the Technic set. But I've not gotten it as of yet, because I couldn't find it. But uh, I'd say these are pretty dank, especially the truck. Oh, absolutely. The truck, man, they're always so cool, because they're just so well made that they're... It's almost as if they're not Lego, is the main thing. It's pretty impressive. I mean, there's no bricks in it. And from what I've heard, they're pretty stable. Yeah, the tow truck's cool. The uh, scooper's pretty cool. I don't, I don't really know what the other one is. I think they're remote controlled too. Oh yeah, all Technic have like places where you can put the motor in if you have that those components, and then they can just become remote controlled, which is even more lit that they had that in mind. That is so cool. Imagine getting like the Ferrari one and just kind of driving that around. That'd be pretty cool. Yo, that would be a flex. Just breaking ankles. <laughs> uh, on to some interesting news we got the advent calendars first of which we got the marvel advent calendar we actually have pictures this week which is pretty cool the figs are totally lacking in printing in my opinion and they even messed up spider-man as the torso that we all excited for is kind of weird like they made it christmas themed slash homecoming themed and it doesn't work the color scheme in my opinion and there's also no infinity gauntlet with all the stones like we thought but other than that there's um well the christmas tree is okay Oh, hold up. The Christmas tree does have the Infinity Stones, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's pretty lit. Oh, there we go. Okay, just no gauntlet. Okay, yeah, that's a redeeming factor. That's kind of sad. 
I still don't yeah. love this. I think it's pretty jank. Yeah, it is pretty sad. The Iron Man and the dad sweatshirt, though, is pretty funny to me. Oh, yeah, me too. And I like the Christmas stocking dummy robot. Oh, definitely. But that's about it. Thanos didn't get leg printing for some reason, which really hurts him. And he got the old chest printing that doesn't quite work. I feel like. Yeah, the one from, like, the little set that was the Infinity Gauntlet car. <laughs> yeah, the Mighty Micro. <laughs> oh, jeez, I remember oh, one of those my things. God. Those are not good. Not great. I'd, I'd give this a jank. Yeah, I'd give it a jank. Yeah. Moving on, we got the City Advent Calendar. Uh, this is, I mean, we pretty much get a City one every year, and it's pretty similar. I think an interesting one this year is that Santa has glasses. Which is pretty cool. I don't think he's had that before. But if you yeah, don't have Santa, like great way to train get him. Themed almost, so it's pretty cool. Oh, you're right. There's the whole train around. track. That's pretty cool. I like yeah. that. I got a city advent calendar once, and it was pretty f- cool. It's a fun thing to do. Every year I want to get one, and I think this year I will get this Star Wars one, which we'll get to in a moment. But, uh, dank or jank for this one? Uh, it's, I'd say it's dank. Alright, I'm going to go with jank. Because <laughs> uh, I feel like we see it every year. But I, I can see the dank too. If you don't have a Santa, it's a good buy, I'd say. But if you want minifigs... The Star Wars admin calendar is for you. I don't know if we caught this one last year, or the last pod. But this one is a Mandalorian-themed advent calendar. It is so amazing. Not only do we got the Snowball IG-11, we got Christmas Grogu, we got Winter Mando, we have amazing micro-builds, and it oh, comes absolutely. with the amazing Scout Trooper, which is like my favorite figure of all time, and a Storm Trooper, and a Sand Person, and this thing is just a Tuscan Raider. Amazing. Yeah, it's that's what. It, thank you. I cannot remember the name. <laughs> that's Raider. what I'm here for. I'm a walking dictionary until I have to do schoolwork and I lose all memory of basic function. So <laughs> the only every time I see them, I think of the like the Sand people don't walk in straight lines. <laughs> no, it's. Oh yeah, where they do walk in straight lines. One. Where oh, they do the walk thing. in straight lines and they all get shot. <laughs> Sniper Joe. It's amazing. Sniper <laughs> Joe. Is that it's Brotherhood Workshop, right? Oh yeah. One of the best brick filmers of all time, if not the Absolutely. He I'd is say what this we is... all aspire to be, I'd say. Oh yeah, for sure. I'd say this is pretty dank. I love this. Yeah, thing. I'd say this is dank. This is actually I might get this as my advent calendar, not the other one. Because this Me too, I think. This would be the thing that you'd want to get. It's nice and diverse. It gives you some really cool characters. And it's just something to look forward to. Exactly. And I the addition of that scout trooper. That figure is just so clean. I love uh, it. Uh I <laughs> there is a half hearted goal of mine to collect all the Mandalorian variants, like all the different stuff. Oh so there's a chance that I might have to get this guy. Or this one for the Snow Mandalorian. That would be really cool. I still need to get his full armor suit, but I definitely want to get this one as well. Maybe I'll finally get an advent calendar. Countdown Speak- um, something. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Mandalorian variants, we also got some pretty sick Star Wars leaks, including three new Van- Mandalorian variants, one of which is a new mold, which is awesome. Wait, I. Is- yeah, look at the helmet. Oh, right, yeah, 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 The, yeah, the spikes yeah, yeah. are a new mold. You're right. That Which is, is amazing. so cool. These are amazing. First up, we got Moff Gideon's ship, which has Grogu, Mando, Gina Carno, who um, was just fired, Fennec Shand, Moff, and a Dark Trooper. And the Dark Trooper fig is also awesome, I think. I think the they Dark want Dark Trooper. Yeah, if I... Head. Oh, absolutely. If I... If, like... If Moff Gideon had, like, an actual Dark Saber, not, like... A very black sad stick. black stick. Yeah, he's got like a an assault baton in case he gets mugged in an alley. I would definitely get this. I'm a bit on the fence because it's a big set. It is a very cool one at that. And I still need... That'd be a perfect way to, for me to get the Mandalorian and this sick Death Trooper figure and Grogu because I don't have any of those. But me I'm too. definitely getting the... the Mandalorian shuttle that we got. That thing is oh. so cool. Honestly, yeah. I don't know if I prefer the original or this one. I think the thing that really makes this one special is the figures, because they went out of you their way. I think the original one had Obi-Wan, two standard Mandalorians, and Pre Vizsla. This one, oh man, I just can't get over the red Mandalorian thing. That's so it's awesome. It's so amazing. I know. Yeah. 
I'm so glad I waited on the Tuscan Raider camp because none of those videos yeah. are exclusive anymore. But yeah, it also comes with Ahsoka Tano, which is so nice to have an official figure. And jetpacks. They all have jetpacks. Ahsoka comes in the other set. Oh, did I say Ahsoka Tano? I mean, um, Bo oh, what's her name? Bo-Katan. Thank you. Bo-Katan and her sidekick and the, yeah. They all come with jetpacks. That's my bad. And I think they're awesome. Oh, absolutely. I'm curious if the jetpacks are gunmetal gray or the standard gray, because I've gotten them in both. The original Mandalorian battle pack had a standard gray. And then the, like, red Death Trooper Mandalorians in the Darth Maul, like, sort of chase set had gunmetal gray. So I wonder if they have a variant, both, or just one type. It looks gunmetal gray, but it's hard to tell from the sliver we got. I, I've got a gunmetal. <laughs> yeah, I think gunmetal suits, suits it better. I would agree. Here's the Ahsoka Tahano set. It's a cheap one, which will hopefully lower her value on Bricklink, because she's like worth $10 right now, which is crazy because her set just sold out. It also has this new amazing Darth Maul fig, which who... Oh, the legs reason, on that man are so good. Oh, they're so which great. Which sounds very weird out of context, but it's just so... <laughs> it's such nice printing, I'll tell you that. I, I don't get why he couldn't use the new lightsaber hilt, but it's hard to oh. complain with that amazing figure. She's so detailed. Oh, absolutely. It also has this throne build, which I think is decent. I haven't seen and what it's build. from. But it looks uh, it cool. is Clone Wars, which I have sadly not had the chance to watch through. But you have that really cool throne with sort of almost a golden door behind it and those nice golden leaf. And then you also have that little container, which isn't as emphasized in the original image. It is not. You can also put Darth Maul in the little container, which is quite cool. I don't know if it's supposed to be carbonite or just a box, but pretty cool. Pretty we cool. also have... Uh, I haven't watched The Mandalorian Season 3. Please don't spoil that for me. Uh, we have Season 2, yeah. So we have a really cool-looking yellow trooper uh, with the like a transport ship, two clones, this... and the one character that I can't remember the name of. Yeah, um, Kreef. This... Kreef, gotcha. Kreef. This scene in The Mandalorian was so cool. I won't, I won't spoil it for you, but it, it yeah. felt like a high action video game and it just kept going and going and going and it was so amazing even though it's just a stupid shuttle i am so hyped to have this in a set it is it is just amazing i'm i'm so happy and i'm so happy instead of giving us another mando they gave us extra stormtroopers i think that was a good idea for once and oh my gosh i love this set it is yeah, i'm so hyped this i wish yeah, we got absolutely. yeah it's so amazing it's this, this, oh my god, I'm so happy with this set. <laughs> I didn't realize that there was a new Stormtrooper helmet mold. Because that's different, right? Is there? The oh, one? there's my water bottle. Uh, yeah, it like... came out two years ago, I think. Okay, I haven't gotten a Star Wars set in two years, so that makes sense. <laughs> the only reason I know about this one is they had this one like $15 set with four of them, and Target had it for $5, so I got a couple of them. Oh my goodness. I, it was so that great is... for army building. That's crazy. Yeah, it was. It was amazing. So I have a couple of them, and they're great. They're great helmets. They don't look great in photos. I think they look better in person. I don't know if I like them as much as the old one, though. But this yellow Stormtrooper, oh my gosh. So amazing. Very nice figures, I'll tell you that. And then I think the last of these has one of the best figures out of all of them, is Boba Fett's ship, which has the new Boba Fett figure, which just looks so good. Yep. Yeah. He's, yeah, it's nice to see him in his new paint. And I think this ship is the smallest we've gotten in his recently, so maybe more affordable. Because the last one we got was that amazing UCS one, I think. Oh, absolutely, yeah. It's the really big one. And so it's nice to get a smaller one compared to, like, the, the earlier years of Star Wars where we got these smaller figures compared to a very big boy. Like, this one, I think, <laughs> might be a $50 set, I think, is what I'm going to shoot for. 50 50 would be great. I I feel like it might be sixty, but even that wouldn't be. Oh, well, maybe it'll be fifty. It kind of depends what the piece count is. It is. We don't have a piece count, but oh, fifty would be great. I hope you're right with that one. I'd say though, all of these sets are dank. What about you? 
Uh, oh, absolutely. They're definitely all dank. Like, they're yeah. so nice. <laughs> you pause for a moment, like, no way you give these jank. <laughs> and they're so great. No, no, no. I was, I was uh, determining whether I should give them a jank, but no. Dank is where I'm going to stick this at. <laughs> I think that Mandalorian with the horns is a jank. He is so amazing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's just such a... We weren't expecting that is the main thing, and that's why it's so good. It came out of nowhere. It, yeah, just, just amazing. Moving on to an interesting set. We got our first what if set, and it is a Hulkbuster, but it is not the Hulkbuster uh, we knew about. It is yet another Hulkbuster, which is uh, the Hulk Hulkbuster. Hey, aren't we so happy about this? I'm so hyped to get this set. It looks horrible. It, the <laughs> what? What is it called? The, the Sicarian Sikari? Hulkbuster. What does that even mean? I, I Why? don't know. Why do it's we have the so many planet. Hulkbusters? I don't know. Uh, it comes with Tony Stark, Valkyrie, and the Watcher, which I think are great things for a cheap figure. set. Whoa! Oh yeah, what? for a cheap. Well, I mean, hold on, let me look. They look so great, other than the they... lack of leg printing. But it yeah, works none of for them two have of them. Leg printing. It, it does, yeah, because they've got smooth colors. Yeah, actually, this the figures are pretty dank, but oh, it turns into a car too. Oh my gosh, they're both terrible builds. Oh yeah. I feel like this set is going to have a really good alternate build that someone makes because the stickers and the pieces are so vibrant. Oh, yeah, definitely. That but being said, course, Lego couldn't do anything with it. Lego couldn't do anything at all. This is one of those cases where both builds suck, and I just don't understand why. Which is impressive why. for Lego. I... Indeed, I don't understand how they could do that. I would rather get anything other than a Hulkbuster, I think, at this point, because we got another What If Hulkbuster. Coming. Honestly... I was pretty fire when the first Hulkbuster came out, and when the second one came out and improved upon it, it's lit. And it's like, oh no, they're, uh, the success has gone to their head, and they think the only thing they should be doing now is Hulkbusters for things that don't even need Hulkbusters. <laughs> wow, I flipped the coin twice and got heads. I must get heads every time. Let's keep flipping. <laughs> so true. Speaking <laughs> of coins, just to remind you, Portal, that I have the exclusive fifth coin. Uh, do we oh have any gosh. news on the restocks? Because we were told that those would happen. No restock news yet. Oof. And the coin's still going for way too much, and I'm very upset, and I should have bought it. How much is it going for? It's still going for like 100, 110. Someone sold it for like 160. <laughs> hey, I'm yeah, very upset. boys. I'm just sitting here crying in broke noises. I should have bought it. Crying I broke had noises. it. I, ha I could have had it. Oh, my God. You've had that on every single coin as you could have had it, but you've... You know, you gotta get someone to push you some of these days, alright? Because you've got some good things that you could happen if you get pushed. I need someone to literally shove me. Just constantly <laughs> right. in my life. Like, hey, yeah. you should do that. I'm gonna shove you into it. <laughs> August, I'll start shoving you into things. Oh, Sounds great. like you've already got a head start with the wall once you congested your nose, so. Wow, thanks. We're gonna have a stream where Dragon's just shoving me into walls. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally face reveals as I'm bully portal master. Whoops. <laughs> We'll be straight we'll be streaming and you'll hear a thud and dragon will go, Oh, Portal Master had to leave. He'll be back later, guys. <laughs> I'll just be in a body bag. It'll be all okay. Uh, it'll be all okay. <laughs> oh gosh. But yeah, that's all the leaks, I think, unless there's anything I miss. We also have some rumors coming up. But I think that was all the images we got. Before we move on real quick, I do want to shout out Copper for being the first one to come in, not only on last week's pod, but on like every pod, he's usually the first one there. So thank you for that. And guys, you should definitely come in on the pod for possible shout outs in the future. Well, there is someone whose YouTube notifications actually work. My goodness. I know, right? He like, so I comment on all the videos like, hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to watch other pods, check out here. He always beats me. I'm like, geez, man. <laughs> Making me look bad. <laughs> <laughs> I am the speed. <laughs> it's amazing. You so beat thank the you, actual Copper. creator to commenting when he knew when the video was coming out. <laughs> Last week I like rushed to beat him. I'm like, okay, I got this. And nope. Nope. Still there. Good for him. <laughs> Both Moving on, we got... <laughs> recreating <laughs> your messages and then just pasting them in and you're still going to lose somehow. Oh, that's a good idea. I should try that. I got to beat him once. <laughs> but now Copper knows, so he's going to do it against you. Oh, no. It's just going to be never-ending. Arms race of who can post faster. <laughs> oh, man. Moving on to some rumors, which uh, for those of you guys that don't know, we usually specify leaks as images and rumors as text leaks. 
even though pretty much they're all confirmed to be real at this point because the leakers have became so reliable. We got some. Oh, no absolutely! Way they barely miss. They re- yeah, I would agree. It's pretty impressive. I would I would guarantee you one of them knows someone that works at Lego. Oh, probably. There's a reason we've seen like revealed. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Imagine them like face revealing and like the Lego CIO is like, "Oh, that's Jeff." Wait, hold up. <laughs> wait, wait, that's Jeff. <laughs> oh man. Lego's gonna start doing hand tracking so they can see if there's an it's their employees who have their hands in the pictures of the leaks. <laughs> Sir, for the company reasons, we're going to have to have you hold these minifigure heads in your hand and pose this specific way. Oh, so no. Identify if it is you. So, um, we are here in court today because <laughs> Lego demanded handpicks of all their employees. And it resulted in the lawsuit somehow. Amazing. I would, that would be so funny. Imagine just like a giant vault of everyone's hands who had worked at Lego. <laughs> that brings a whole new thing to hand scanning. Oh my gosh. They've got bots that specifically construct the patterns on people's hands and see if they can match them up to their oh database. No. Oh my gosh. If only. That would just be the end of leaking. Absolutely. Until, you know, just static images. And then they have to get really advanced in, like, tracking people's backgrounds. <laughs> oh man. So we were supposed to get No Way Home trailers today, if you were to believe the Marvel rumor people, but they are often wrong, unlike the Lego group. (laughs) So that didn't happen. But we do have some No Way Home set rumors. There is supposed to be two sets coming out in October, a $20 set and a $40 set. I think this is pretty surprising, considering the movie doesn't come out till December. But maybe because it got delayed, they just didn't delay the sets. Hey, they did the Immortals sets. They leaked them before a trailer even dropped, so I wouldn't be surprised. That's true. Those were leaked like a year. had magazine images before the trailer came out, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, that's a good point. It's a good point. Oh my gosh, we totally forgot to do Dank on Jank. Dank and Jank on some stuff. Oh well. Oh well. Too late now. Um, <laughs> this is pretty dank, though. There goes our rating system. And then, also with the world building set, we got some disappointing news. It is not it's a just building. It's a map. Is it? It's worse really... than just a map. It's worse. It's the Titanic. Oh, no. ha, ha, ha. Which is totally a world icon and a building. It's an American ship that didn't even function as a ship as it hit an iceberg and just died. America! America! Maybe the world part is just that everyone likes watching America fail. Like, maybe that's it. Maybe. Or it's just a really good movie. Who knows? But everyone in the world likes Titanic. They don't like the Titanic, the ship. They like the movie. (laughs) So the set is actually of the Titanic movie, not the Titanic ship. Oh my gosh, they made the Titanic movie in real life, guys. Oh Oh, no! They made that Titanic Fortnite skin in real life. Whoa! Oh. Oh no, oh no. Oh my gosh, guys, they made the Stor- the Stormtrooper Fortnite skin into a movie. Wow, so cool. Guys, they made the Thanos Fortnite skin into a movie. Whoa. As as cool as ships are, I think it'd be really cool if they had like half a Titanic sinking into like a water thing. I think that'd be oh, a cool be awesome. design. With like an iceberg. Why don't you just be an iceberg? Honestly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just an iceberg or leakers. We're like, oh yeah, the leakers don't miss at all, and then boom, ice <laughs> just iceberg. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. But that is it for the news this week. You got anything else? Hey, <laughs> on oh, spot? Hold on, let me stop yawning. <laughs> I do not. Dragon yawn. Yeah. Draconic yawn. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for listening. Definitely check out our Discord channel and stop motion contest. And hey, maybe subscribe. Let's get to a thousand by the end of the summer, right? And that is all. See you guys in the next pod.